Hello Hoopers, it's Puppy. I'm here to show you the ISO flower and some of its awesome variations. So here is the ISO flower. It was made popular by the beautiful, fabulous Katarina Sutton. She has a tutorial on it, you can check that out. I'm just here to show you some of its variations and to show you the ISO flower if you've never heard of it and you don't know how to do it. So, the ISO flower, first off, is an extension on the inside, and an, I mean, a isolation on the inside, and an extension on the outside. So, to do a one-handed isolation, you're gonna hold on to the inside of the hoop on the bottom, and when you get to about three o'clock, you're gonna let the hoop roll on the back side of your hand, like that. If you already know how to do a one-handed isolation, good. If you don't, I'm sure you can watch some other tutorials and come on back when you know how to do it. So here is the one-handed isolation. The next thing you're gonna need to know is an extension. So you're gonna put your hand just like this and let the hoop rest on your wrist. And an extension, you're, you're not holding onto the hoop ever. You're just letting the momentum of your hand and the leverage of your wrist have the hoop extend fully. Almost like you're holding a bucket of water and you don't want the water to spill out of it. So once you are confident with your extension and your isolation, you just combo them, creating the isoflower. So I'm gonna just take both hoops in our leveraging wrist and just take that front hoop and spin it up so that you're in this position. And now you can kind of rock back and forth and get used to that feeling. And when you're ready, right around three o'clock, you're gonna vigorously isolate, vigorously. I find that this isolation is a little more um, aggressive than my normal isolation. And it really helps to focus only on the isolating hoop and your extension will kind of figure itself out okay so once you feel comfortable with the iso flower you can move on to some of its really awesome variations so this is what i call the iso flower pop and it can be done continuously or it can kind of just be popped out right back into the iso flower so if you are comfortable with your one-handed isolation, you already might know the trick that I call an isopop. Other people refer to it as a linear isolation. For my tutorial, I'm gonna to refer to it as an isopop. So, to do an isopop, you're gonna hold on to the top of your hoop You can hold on to the bottom, whatever feels comfortable for you, really. But the idea is that the hoop is going to be moving down, and your hand is going to be shooting up at a diagonal angle. So you can kind of practice shooting up, and when you feel comfortable with it, kind of just open your hand, and then return back to center. So you're going to open your hand, so that's a linear isolation. I'm sure there's lots of tutorials on that, and you can check that out. So, once you feel comfortable with an isopop, again, the hoop's falling forward, you can just apply it to your isoflower. So right about when the extending hoop is here, on this side, is when you shoot out your isopop, like so. And if you want it to stay continuous, you're gonna let the, the extending hoop go on your wrist, and the hoop that was isolating a second ago is now gonna be in your hand, and you're just gonna like let it, you're gonna grab it and then drop it repeatedly. And I'll slow motion that, because it looks really confusing, but it's really not.
So if you mastered the isoflower pop, now you can try experimenting with the isoflower pop into like an anti-spin. I don't know, it's kind of a crazy trick. I don't even know what to name it. But basically, and I don't really know how to teach it. <laughs> but I just wanted to show it to you guys because it's really cool. And I'm pretty sure you can do it with quads. So I'm here, and then when I feel ready, I shoot up to that top. So play around with that. If you have any variations of the isoflower, I'd really like to see them. So message me or link me below or do something. <laughs> awesome. Have a good day, Hoopers, and...